That's usually okay. So, so, so I gotta ask. Let me jump in right there before <laughs> before I lose my train of thought. Mm-hmm. You clearly, you look like a woman. There's no doubt you're an attractive woman. You act like a woman. Does it not mess with your own mind and your own psyche when you get undressed and <laughs> everything is about you is a woman and you still have a penis? Yeah, I can. I will admit and say that I am kind of like, I'm very, I will admit, I'm not. It is something that is kind of like, uh, like I get a little ashamed. I ain't even gonna lie. I'll be like, uh, I don't want people seeing that, you know? So yeah, I do. It'd be like, it'd be like weird. It is kind of weird for my own stuff because I'd be like, damn, I got these luscious breasts, these beautiful feminine face, soft skin, big juicy booty, and then you have that. (laughs) (laughs) So it's really kind of like, yeah, it's, it's a very awkward for me at times and I feel weird. And that's why honestly, when I am sexually with guys, I always hide myself. And then I have a lot of dudes that be like, stop. You ain't got to do all that. You, you hold, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop there. What do you mean you hide yourself? Be specific. I just, I, I, I hide. I stay tough most of the time when I'm with a man. And okay, so so I got to ask you this. And you're no longer on the pills you spoke about earlier, which mm-hmm. one of the side effects is, uh, for lack of a better way to put it, you weren't able to get erect. The sexual, yeah, the sexual Correct. pleasure. Yes. Today, are you able to get erect d- d- during intercourse? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm able to feel my feeling now. But, you know, when I'm when I'm usually having intercourse with a man, I'm usually in doggy style position or, you know, that's the favorite position with me. But I, you know, tend to just kind of, get off when I'm giving them head. So then when that time to do intercourse, then it's like I could still kind of cover myself and be the woman that I feel that I am. I understand. You know, it, I understand. it makes me feel more feminine. But I mean, I have a lot of guys that I've dealt with in the past that just tell me to be free and comfortable. And I like that. When I do have guys that come along like that, that's cool with me. If you cool with it, then I'm cool with it. I'm going to let myself be free. But yeah, I do. I do have that shaming moment. Like, you know, I don't be wanting that. I feel like I don't want the world to see that. I don't want the world to see that. So no, you know, and I do my little OnlyFans stuff. And that's not something that I show, you know. I might show some twerking and all of that, but you're not going to, no, mm mm I'm not gonna be. <laughs> I'm not gonna be going. Look at this, guys. No, no, nah. no, 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 no. I'm a little bit too feminine for that. I'm not. That, but there's a lot of girls you can go find and see that just as pretty as me, if not even prettier. Because there's a lot of pretty trans girls out here that ain't afraid to show their peace in a heartbeat. Yeah, I would think. Um... You know, if, if you get to the point where you're intimate with a guy and he knows who you are, mm-hmm. that has to be expected, especially yeah. if he knows your pre-op. Right. But even back in the day when I wasn't open, I was doing I was I've talked about this before and I am proud of that. But I used to have sex with guys and you would trick them. I would tell them I was on my you know period. And they would just, you know, have, you know, anal sex with me and they didn't know a thing still. How, how is that even possible? It's how, possible. How, how, really? It's possible when you, especially when you're not that big either. So it's like easy to hide. And then if you're doggy styling someone, you're not going to see that unless or feel it unless you try to reach around and grab it. But I would tell them, you know, I'm on my period, so you got to be gentle. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't do that anymore. So that the, the, the world, the world itself has changed in the mm-hmm. last um, few years, and it, and it is more inclusive. It is more accepting. Do you mm-hmm. find today? I mean, you are loud and proud with it. Uh, you're very open. 
and very comfortable in your own skin. But I think you know, we also live in a woke society where people are just more accepting of do you. Do, do you find that more men uh, are approaching you, more men are saying, I don't care, I'm into you? It doesn't matter, you know, the fact yeah. that you were born a male? Now, in this day, yes, more men are very um, attracted to me and are open with me being who I am versus long time ago, like 2013, 2012, around that era. Now it's like, even if it's just about sex, yes, guys are, are willing to get with me. And now I want, I don't know more so about relationship. Now that's a little hard to find right now, but me just getting with a guy on a sexual tip, that's easy. That's my and, and, and they know mm -hmm. who they're dealing with. They know yeah. I am with Sydney Starr. A known trans woman. <laughs> yeah. That's like a blink of an eye I can get. So what, what do you think, what do you think the, the the attraction from the men are? Is it just because they see a beautiful woman? Is it because you you're Sydney Star or do, do I they think just it's a lot? You? I think it's a whole a lot of those. I think it's a I think it's um, intriguing. They're intrigued. There's a lot of dudes that hit me up and be like, "Yo, I've been watching you on TV for a while. Like I'm." I just want to see what that mouse do. Like, they want to just, you know, they want to just get a feel of the head, how the head is for me. Or then you have the ones that are into trans girls, but they see me and they, you know, they it's guys that have told me they didn't saw me while they was in jail. They watched me on TV while they were in jail. I've had so many of that. I've had so many guys tell me they watched me on Love and Hip Hop in jail and they're like damn that's a trans they I remember one guy he was like i kept saying to myself damn that's a trans he said he kept saying that because i was very vocal about being trans when i was on love and hip-hop um and there are some guys that hit me up and was like i just was like they would say when i get out of jail i'm gonna find you i'm gonna hit you up and find you and it's been dudes that hit me up while they're still in jail <laughs> on the DMs. Wow. So now they have phones in jails and these guys are hitting me up and telling me how, you know, beautiful I am and how they wish that I was their girl. And it's crazy. I get it all. So I think it's a little bit of everything. They want to get with me because they see the, the character. Then it's sons that just want to get with me because that's what they into. They into, you know, attractive trans women and then there's some guys that just hit me up because they just don't fucking know they just stumbled <laughs> across my page and they saw a cute girl they see that i was on some television shows and then they hit me up and then they don't know they don't do their research they don't be it's like oh shit i didn't know you was trans like yeah I so when sure. they find out when they find out what percentage of men actually continue to i still you. get rejected i still get rejected yeah, I, I I get that still. Like they'll be like, "Damn, I didn't know." They'll just be like on some cool shit. They'll be like, "Yo, no offense, you fooled me. I didn't know, but you gotta, you know, you gotta look at it like I've been fooled myself too with people. So I have to put myself in their shoes. So they'll just be like, "Yo, it's not my thing. You're, you know." You are very attractive, but that's just not my thing. And, you know, it have been times when guys have done that to me, turned me down, and then they don't hit me back months later, like, what's up? And I'm like, I thought you said you wasn't interested. And they don't came around. That's happened to me a lot, too. So it's like. And, and yeah. you've actually you've actually been intimate with these men. Yes, yeah, some 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 of these guys I have. Yeah. Wow. Yes, so I do. I do fuck my fans. Okay, what? What did you just say? <laughs> I fuck my fans. Yeah, I fucked a few of my fans before. <laughs> yep. And yeah, some, okay. of them, so those... some, of them, some of them have have offered me some money that I can't couldn't refuse either. So that's why I'm like, okay, let's make it happen. 
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.